Hey guys, Dr. Kimon Beckel is director of the Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island, reaching out to you. Uh, I'm sure you all have heard the breaking news of uh, Elon Musk's company, uh, Neuralink, uh, having their first successful implantation of their device. Their device uh, is intended to revolutionize brain machine interface and really after implantation uh, it can serve potentially theoretically four core functions one is to restore function that is lost say in the setting of a stroke or traumatic brain injury uh, second is to treat uh, dis diseases like uh, alzheimer's uh, or epilepsy third maybe to enhance mood and behavior and lastly to be used for advanced prosthetics uh, in cases of uh, injury and uh, be able to coordinate those. Now, you know, this is the first kind of proof of concept implantation. Uh, they were able to see brain waves when they implanted this device. Uh, and so that kind of demonstrates that they're able to have some interaction uh, 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 with, with the brain. However, keep in mind, it hasn't been tested um, for its intended functions yet. Um, the only, uh, I'd say, substantial real competition to Neuralink is a company called Synchron, and that involves also uh, a brain machine interface uh, and it's a little bit of a narrower focus and it has to do with restoring motor function in uh, patients that have uh, undergone a stroke or have lost function maybe because of traumatic brain injury and it's a little different it's not so much an implant like Neuralink that is interacting directly uh, with the nerves and directly with the brain but it's more so an implant that goes into a large vein inside the brain the superior sagittal sinus that vein is very close to uh, the motor cortex, the area of the body that controls movement and can stimulate that area by being next to it. And when it does that, it can hopefully restore function. That device is actually a lot more advanced in its um, testing and uh, it's currently part of an FDA approved uh, breakthrough clinical trial with over 40 subjects recruited so far. We don't know the results of it yet. Uh, of course, we're hoping they'll be extremely successful because uh, that is something that uh, you know, can be very uh, easily applied to a lot of patients. So we're waiting to hear more developments. I just wanted to reach out to you and provide some clarification as to those news. Uh, and as always, uh, like and subscribe to our channel. See you again in another video.